make the playoffs. Others with much higher would say that you can start with a clean stand. We're building off of get there, reach their goals. They Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, and just before the game, Commissioner Adam Silver, and a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans. And we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA season. With Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. We have Doris Burks on the sideline as well. The New Orleans Pelicans preparing to defend home court in this Western Conference battle. This, of course, the first opportunity to play Portland. Well, you look at last year, they just could not find their footing, guys, against this team. They dropped all three games during the season. And we'll see if anything's different this year because they didn't match up well with this team last year getting swept in the season series. And Greg, not what you... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> I mean, that nearly brought the backboard down with that slam. Well, don't you think, Greg, that's always a possibility when he's the one to finish? Uh, no <laughs> doubt. Especially, guys, when he's given the kind of space he had that time. That was a nice replay brought to you by Kia. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Aminu. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's McCollum. Rejected by Riley. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. We play just over a minute here in the first. And here are the Pelicans now. Holiday, the pass to Riley. It's good. Freaks got five for four from the field so far today. Lillard against Holiday. Plumley with a screen on Holiday. Stolen by Holiday. And Holiday with a clear path to the hoop. Drops in the breakaway lane. Fast break opportunities do not get any easier than that one off the steal. Exactly. The defense really no chance to get back. Lillard attacking. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That one is on Holiday. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. And he sinks the second. Here's Holiday. The pass to Riley. Back to Holiday. The shot. Aminu grabs the miss. That's one he knows he should have drained. And so here's Portland. Trailing by two. Lillard attacking. And Davis sends it back. And Holiday kicks to Evans. And a wide open look for Freak. And another three for New Orleans. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. And Aminu kicks to Lillard. From 11 feet away. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Lillard's got five. And, and a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of positions there. The offensive rebound. And it's Davis missing. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Here's Riley. Off target from three-point range. Trailblazers trail by three. McCollum dishes to Lillard. The feed to Davis. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Well, I tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. It really has, and they've created a lot of high percentage shots in the paint here already. Pass to Holiday. It's stolen by Davis. Evans against Lillard. there to get the go-ahead bucket just tentative in the paint lacking a little bit of confidence allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot holiday gets the bucket <laughs> i mean even he was surprised to be that open 
Lillard on top, guarded by Holiday. Lillard, the pass to Davis. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Lillard attacking. It's blocked. But they recover it. Aminu with the bucket. New Orleans gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Kicks the freak. Davis sets a screen. Riley can't hit. The Trailblazers have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Lillard outside. No one near him. McCollum, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Now Lillard. Five points in the game. Out to the wing. Here's Aminu. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Not sure how he gets that pass off. I thought for sure he was going to pull the trigger. And the Pelicans miss again. Portland leading. Inside. Here's Plumley. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. Well for New Orleans, shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. And Holiday kicks to Freak. Patrulia dishes to Davis. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. It goes on Ed Davis. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Pelican shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Second free throw, no good. The Trailblazers have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. McCollum with the ball, and Holiday picks him up defensively. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Ryan Anderson, he's checked in for Pachulia. And Eric Gordon subbed in for Drew Holiday. Here's Riley from outside off the mark. Portland leading by three. They push it up for on three. And Aminu kicks to Plumley. A three from McCollum. Here's Davis. And he converts the layup. Davis has got six points. There it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your Pelicans team. Let's take this chance to see which of last season's teams had the most second-chance points in the league. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. Tyler Zellers checked in for Anthony Davis. And a switch here also for Portland. Rabs checked in. McCollum dishes to Lillard. And then jam down as he goes right over Tyler Zeller. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in. Aren't they have to build up a lead? Here we go, folks. It's showtime. <laughs> that was a Kodak moment right there. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. And Plumley kicks to Crab. What's up a three? It's rebounded by New Orleans. Here's Riley. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's been a good night for Freak. He's already up to 11 points. And from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Well, when he squared himself up and gotten good looks, he's knocked them down. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Morrow comes in for McCollum, and it's Matthew Delavidova in for Damian Lillard. Delavidova from outside, and that one's good. Delavidova's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Perfect screen there, set him up with a terrific look. 
Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Anderson passes to Evans, and he gets it to go. Evans has got his first points in this one. He could have forced a tough inside shot, but made a terrific kick out to find the open jumper instead. Plumlee dishes to Morrow. Over to the wing. Della Vidova kicks to Plumlee. The three from Morrow. No luck. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. They've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass today. Yeah, and it's already got them a plus-five margin in the rebound column. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Tries to keep it alive. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. That's in and out to Doris Burke, who caught up with head coach Terry Stotts. DB? He said a big factor in this game will be how well they limit penetration by Tyreek Evans. He said he's so unique in that he's so big and so strong and also tremendously slippery and elusive off the bounce. But we've really got to cut off his right hand and then dare him to shoot over the top. I'd rather he have a wide open look from 18, 19 feet than a clear lane to the rim any day of the week. Kevin, the marching order, pretty clear cut. And thank you, Doris. Pass to Morrow. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Crab. That three off the mark. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Anderson. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Now, just a three-point trailblazer lead. Grab the pass to Morrow. Plumley in the post. He's covered by Zeller. Plumley, no luck. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. He got right to the cup using that screen. elevadova has got five. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. New Orleans making some changes here. Hickson comes in for Zeller, and it's Pondexter in for Tyreek Evans. Here's Riley, and he overshot that one, missing. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Crab, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. For the finish, finishes the break with a slam. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. For Pelican! 